Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Halloween. Um, that time of the year again where people go, you know, trick or treating, watching scary movies, or you know, going to you know parties and Halloween costumes. So I figured, in light of the Halloween tradition, I figured, you know, it's usually, you know, every Halloween, I get, you know, I try to rewatch the uh, Halloween movies, and I figured the one in particular that I like to discuss is Halloween Two, not the Rob Zombie, you know. Halloween 2, which I thought was total garbage, but the um, 1981 version, you know, you know, it's sequel to the 78 version, which, you know, takes place, you know, right after the events of the first Halloween movie in which, you know, Michael Myers, of course, being the inhuman that he has managed to survive being shot, as Loomis says, I shot him six times, you know, and, and continues his search. Uh, you know, for, you know, Laurie Strode, who's taken to Haddonfield Hospital after, you know, being injured, you know, from, you know, being pursued by Michael in the first, you know, f you know, film. And then, of course, you know, Michael, you know, goes on his way, to, you know, in the hospital in the typical Michael Myers, you know, flash, you know, picking off the victims that get in his way one by one until, you know, of course, you know, he tries, you know, to get to Laurie. And then, of course, you know, Dr. Loomis continues his pursuit of going after Michael before he could hurt more people. And of course, I mean, you know, while some people may say Halloween 2 is not as good as the first one, of course, others might say, you know, it actually, you know, is considered one of the uh, better sequels. In terms of what I thought about Halloween 2, the 81 version, I would say what I liked about it, you know, was, you know, you know, in a sense, I guess, picking up where it left off, I guess was a good idea. And then in some cases, um, you know, I kind of wish they would have, you know, done it like three years later or so, like when Laurie was in college or something, you know, like that. But, you know, Donald Pleasance does a really good job playing the Samuel Loomis, you know, character, you know, someone that's, you know, obsessed with trying to find his, you know, patient and trying to keep the town of Haddonfield uh, safe. And I would say one of the few minor complaints I have about the second one is kind of like, you know, the classic piano, piano thing, which played a lot throughout the first film. You know, they use, I think, more of like an orchestra, I think, type thing to it, which, I mean, isn't bad, but, you know, I kind of miss the piano thing because it's scarier. And, of course, one of the few downsides to the original movie, I mean, sorry, the, se the sequel, is, you know, that Jamie Lee Curtis is sadly underused as Laurie Strode in this one. And she's kind of, you know, like reduced to like, you know, the, you know, the helpless you know, you know, victim that depends on, you know, Loomis the savior to, you know, save her from, you know, you know, Michael Myers, even though she, in her own way, she does her best, you know, to fend for herself, you know, considering that, you know, she's all drugged up, you know, you know, in, in the hospital, and, you know, and injured, of course. So, um, that's that. And of course, you know, one of the things that I thought was pretty cool about Halloween too, even though some people may not like it, is, you know, you know, why Michael was, you know, after Laurie, you know, strode and things like that, which I thought was a nice little twist that they, you know, kind of established in this particular film. So that's my take on it. And I would say, I mean, it's one of my favorite sequels besides, you know, the fourth one and of course H2. So, I mean, that's that. So I forgot <laughs> I'd rather watch this than that 40th anniversary film, which I thought was complete garbage, but that's just my thing. Alright everyone, thanks for watching and happy Halloween. Be safe out there.